what's good everyone hope you lot are doing well um so um i, I watched another episode of blue therapy well I'm, I'm gonna watch another episode of blue therapy with you guys um today's episode is gonna be about why would you respond to heart comments in your insta so this will be very very interesting <laughs> so let's give it a watch so trauma goes out with her girls right cool no worries. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're in therapy. Let's have the conversation, right? Anyway. This is a safe place, right? Yeah. Oh, everything that's said in here stays in yeah. this form. Everything? I believe you. All right, look. Trauma goes out with the girls. So on this night, obviously, we have mutuals. I know you're familiar with how Instagram works in terms of the stories. You watch one, it goes over to the do other you, do automatically. You have, do you follow her? Or did you go on her page no, and no, click no. on her story? No, no, we have mutuals. I probably follow her. What? She's your. You what? Don't follow your girl's friends. And if you see re if you see requests from them, bruv, just reject that shit. Because all they're doing is trying to dig in your business. Dig in that one. Dig in that one. And then they expose you. You might not even be doing shit. They might just expose you for no reason. Show it out with the girls. I was on my um, Instagram just flicking through stories of my clients because I have clients that are influencers, right? So uh, the, the next slide that came along was I, I, I literally saw Choma doing a crazy new dance or whatever, <laughs> and it was inappropriate. It was very disrespectful. Uh, it was, listen, listen, very disrespectful, and it was inappropriate, and I feel like she was over-sexualizing herself respectfully. When it comes to, like, social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and stuff like that, with Choma, like, she... Yeah, she can be respectful generally, but at the same time, she's kind of like a, a mixture between, like, cute slash bite me, if you know what I mean. That, I, don't, I don't mess with that. It's basically like a first trap. Do you understand the situation that he's talking about? Yes, I know the exact situation he's talking about. Um, yeah. Oh! So I was right in my last video. She does first trap. All right. Hey, that is... That is most awkward, sir. That is most awkward, yes. So, but what do I think of people first trapping as a couple? My question is why? Like, you've already got your man. Why do you need the attention of others? Is what I don't understand, bro. Like, there's no need to be thirst trapping when you've already got the quote unquote man of your dreams. Like, why, why would you feel a need to kind of want to want to thirst trap on that? Like, I, I don't, I don't understand. It. What, are you trying to seek more validation? Like, is that it? Is it is the validation of your man not enough? Like, I'm saying you're a man because it's mainly women that thirst trap. Men rarely do it. When men do, it's like a print pick at most, bruv. Like, you see some man doing eggplant Friday or some sh gay shit like that, bruv. Some questionable shit like that. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I don't know, man. I just feel like, for me, I just never understood the whole concept of you're thirst trapping, but you're in a relationship. It just sounds dumb to me, but... Yeah, let's go. So... I went out mm -hmm. with my girls. Mm -hmm. We went to the club mm -hmm. and I was having fun. I was oh. dancing. <laughs> I was having That's fun. That's what they call it now. <laughs> I was having fun and I was dancing. Um, I wasn't twerking or anything like ah, that. Ah, twerking? I was dancing. See, with, see? I was dancing. He says I was twerking. That's why I'm only, That's the only reason I started. I didn't see it. Did I, did I mention twerking? You didn't need to mention it now, but that's your point, right, babe? Because you, you've spoken to me about this. You mentioned a twerking. I didn't times. mention twerking. Denise, let's go. I was dancing with my knees bent. Let's just say that. My friend was recording the... Dance with your knees... The only dance I can think that you bend your knees in is twerking. So, were you twerking? Were you not? Like, what's... What's really good, man? I know that ain't who I think it is. Environment. And I was in that video for one second or less than that, okay? I didn't post it onto my page because I know how my man is. Um, I'm not ready to go home and argue. But you allowed your friend to post it on her page because that's going to make it any better. Because if anything, she's going to... Her friend's going to have bare man dim in her. Like, yo, what's that thing saying? What's she on? She got a man. Ah, oh, that's fine, man. Goalkeepers got... got uh, goalie, uh, Goals have got goalkeepers. It don't matter, bro. I'm, I'm trying to shoot my shot, bro. Like, you know what you're doing with it. Like, let's stop, man. Just because you didn't post it, you've allowed someone else to do it. So it doesn't make you any better. Like, I can't, like, listening to both of this, both, like, these people, like, over the course of two videos, they come across very narcissistic. Like, almost like, oh, well, you know, my baby can run, but yours can't. But then the other one is like, my baby can run, but yours can't. It's like, yo, relax. Relax. Look at my nose itch, bro.
I don't want any conflict. At the end of the day, I don't want anything. Um, I wasn't dancing on a man, and I wasn't over-sexualizing myself. I was having fun. He now has an issue with that. Why? So, and why is that something I need to apologize for? So tell me, when you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. sometimes it, it could be seen that if you're at the bar having a drink, if someone took a, took a picture, it mm -hmm. might look like you are chatting to somebody in an inappropriate way. Yeah, but, you, you, but you know what? I'll tell you something. A picture paints a thousand words, right? Now, a thousand words, if you're educated like myself, once you digest it, you understand what it means. So all it takes is one second for me to see one or two moves that I know, okay, something's going on. Yeah, that she's trying to do I was, something. I was dancing. You know what I'm yeah, <laughs> like, okay, if you didn't post it on your page, why would you let your friend post it on her page? First of all, it wasn't, it, it's not like she was videoing me. She was videoing the area. I, I was in, babe, how many seconds was I in that video for? I don't know. The only reason as to why I didn't post it was because I know how he is, but I have every right to do that. And if I wanted to post it, I would have posted it. That's inconsiderate. That's just what it is. That's inconsiderate. Me and my girls respect ourselves. I respect myself. I don't embarrass him online, nor do I embarrass myself, so. You could have been there for a millisecond, bro. It's the fact that you've allowed your friend to record you in a compromising position that your man has a problem with that. And I can't lie, you can't really blame him for having that problem because more time, you shouldn't have allowed yourself to get recorded in the first place. So is he really at fault for having an issue with that? I don't believe he is. But yeah, um, more time, it's just like, why would you allow yourself to be caught in such a compromising position? That's what I'm saying. You really didn't have to do that, but you allowed your friend to record. If you felt like you, there was no problem you posting it, you would have. But the fact that you did it means that you saw some sort of problem in it. Because you're like you said, your man doesn't like it. That's the problem in it. So obviously, you must see something that there must be something that you've done that you must have been like, if I post this, it might get sticky for me still. So I'm just gonna allow it. That's what I'm saying, man. Is that these arguments are very inconsistent. So all of this is controlling. Um, I feel like he's a little bit narcissistic, but I'm not gonna put up with this shit because I know how I carry myself and it's very respectful. So he can drop that. Jamal, you were the one that reached out to come to therapy. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle a nigga? Like, I don't understand how you can call him narcissistic, but yet you want to bust down and think that, okay, cool, yeah, that, that can run. That's fine because at the end of the day, like, I, I respect myself, but you don't respect your man enough to not be doing that shit. Like, I see where he's coming from with the over-sexualization thing. Like, if you want to, like I said, I said this in the last video, I'll say it again. Understand who your partner is. If your partner is out here busting down on Gram, bruv, and you're not comfortable with it, don't be with that person, bruv. It's as simple as that. But you know who you've gone for, so I'm not going to lie, you should be very aware of what's going to come from it. Doesn't mean you have to be happy about it, but I'm just saying, if you don't like the stipulations of the contract you're in, buy yourself out of it. Not I don't anymore. have an issue with that because I know you're just partying, you're clubbing, you're going to come back to me, correct? Yeah. I trust you and I feel as though you wouldn't cheat. So why don't you give me that same trust? Because I'm dancing, I'm, I'm humiliating myself and I'm humiliate, humiliating us as a couple. Come off your high horse. I'm so, t like, this is what I mean. He has issues. So, so Paul. Okay, I'm going to explain this as best as I can. But, like I said, I'm just a nigga in a car. What do I know? But I will just say this. Genuinely, when men go out to clubs, they don't sexualize themselves. They will normally gravitate towards people who are sexualizing themselves, which are normally the women doing it. Oh, you know, buy me a drink, like get me this, get me that. Like you're sexualizing yourself for something as trivial as a drink that you don't want to buy yourself. Like, like I have known people to go to clubs who just want to go there just because men will buy them drinks, and I just think that's pathetic. But I feel like Obviously, men are men are going to be drawn to people who sexualize themselves to an extent, but not every man is going to act towards it. This guy doesn't seem like the kind of guy to do it, but you never know, innit, bro? You can never look at someone and be like, oh, I don't know if you do this. Anyone is capable of anything. But for her to compare herself twerking, let's just say, because I haven't seen the video, and compare it to him going out clubbing with clients, I think that those are two different things. One is business, because at the end of the day, if you're out of influencers, I hate that fucking word, or rappers or whatever, they are going to go and go to a, like a club scene. So you got to come correct. You know what I mean? You got to pattern yourself accordingly. But 
if you're just out of your girls and you're just busting down, then I don't know what to say for you. More time, I think that's more disrespectful than him going to a club with potential clients and trying to sweeten up to them. But that's just my opinion. That's just my view on it. I hate when people say come off your high horse because their morals are low. Just because you've lowered yourself to doing something does not mean I have to join you. Oh yeah. There is powerful niggardry at work here. Yeah. Pigs play in the mud. It doesn't mean I have to jump in the mud with you. Do you know what I mean? Like more time, if you want to play in the mud, go alone. But I'm not jumping in there because let's be real. People are going to look at me in the mud and look at the pig and be like, what's the difference? So if you ever in a position where someone's saying, come off your high horse, it's because your morals don't align with theirs and you shouldn't have to drop your moral standing down in order to match them. Paul, I'm in love with Paul. Um, that's why I reached out to you because I'm trying to save our relationship. I don't want it to get to a point where you realise what you've lost when it's too late, OK? That's not a threat. I'm just saying because you need to understand that. You're kind of being unfair to me, babe. That is some arrogant shit, man. That is some arrogant shit. Listen, I'm going to give you some advice. This is mainly for the mandem because women are the first ones to throw this bullshit line out. And even for the ladies, this, this would apply to as well because there are some men that drop this fuckery of a line. If they turn around and say, I don't even want you to turn around and realise what you've lost. There's always going to be someone better out there somewhere. That's all I'm going to say. I've never felt to drop that line to anyone because I don't have that level of arrogance to think that, bro, I had so much to your life that if I went, your little pathetic life would be nothing. Like, I don't have that level of thinking. So for me, it's just almost uh, the fact that there are people that think that. I don't know what to say for you, man. That's some narcissistic shit. And it's funny because she accused him of being a narcissist. So it looks like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree if you shake it hard enough. I want to work through this, but I need him to understand and to kind of see what he's doing. And he doesn't see that. Right. Paul, let me reverse it now. Do you trust Shona? I do. Really? You do? Yeah. That's good. So why can I not dance then? No, no, no. no. Look, it's not just the dancing. Uh, look, you're trying to make it look like I'm nitpicking and I'm picking... It's the mentality, right? So, look, social media, just to stick onto that for a second, right? Okay. Let's look at a case scenario whereby she posts a picture. Beautiful, right? Now, if she has um, a comment from a guy, love struck, then if she's liking and commenting on it, oh, thanks, hon. That's completely unnecessary. You've got a man. Why the fuck are you doing that for? If a man are leaving heart as you air that, bro. Like, like, what? No, that's just... You're just begging for val for validation. That's just what I, that's what this girl is coming across is just she needs validation and she does not care how she gets it. And that's a lot of people on social media. Like you see man them dropping comments like, Oh, I'll drink I I'll, I'll drink your bath water and stuff like that and it's just like Jesus Christ Fucking hell man I'm finished But you don't mean that. You're just saying that to give her a sense of validation that she's very clearly after. So that's all it is, bro. Like just just chill, chill, man. Okay, okay, okay. Would you do that in your relationship? I don't think it's about my relationship. No, but answer the question. Okay, let's get to, let's get. You know what it is, yeah? He asked a very good question and the fact she didn't answer it lets me know that I really and truly, she's just here to kind of back the women to an extent because we're all well and good giving advice until it comes back and it's applied to us directly. And that's what he's just done. He just turned around to her and said, put yourself in this position would you do the same thing? Personally, for me, I think it's unnecessary to do. If you're with someone, you don't need to be replying to comments. You don't even need to be replying to DMs that people are sending you. Unless it's business, you don't need to be replying to... I'm using this as an example of me as a man. If I'm with a girl, I'm not replying to other girls' DMs. Unless it's a business thing like, oh, can we collaborate, make a video, this and that. Then cool, I'll reply to that. But if it's just the thing of, oh my God, you look so beautiful. Like, oh, you're so dreamy. I'm not going to reply to shit like that. Because it just is what it is, you know what I mean? But maybe I just don't feel a sense of... Uh, maybe I don't feel a sense of I need to feel validation the way that this girl does. Because it's very obvious that she does. Do not Do you think that's necessary? Answer the question. It does depend on the reasons why. Oh, really? There's, no okay. There's another thing as well that women do that I don't like is that they add stipulations to everything. So it's like... With that girl that recently cheated on her man with Drake, it's like, well, the engagement took too long. All I'm saying is, yeah... If a girl is leaving hard eyes under a guy's comments and then the therapist is trying to say it depends on the reasons why, I promise you this girl is going to rip her fucking wig off and fuck up that therapist. Any insult to replying to a comment that somebody has done. Quite frankly, 
I feel like I get more attention from social media than I do Paul. And I feel as though, subconsciously, that's probably what is affecting him, because he feels like, why are you giving my woman more love than I give her? Then how about you up your game? At the end of the Like I said, validation. All you want is validation, bruv. Just fucking admit it. Simple as, bruv. This is pissing me off now, bruv. Because all you're doing is just creating stipulations just to justify the fuckery you're doing. That's like fuck boys that say that, you know what? I mess girls around and I fuck girls over because I'm hurt. It doesn't make fucking sense, bruv. It does not make sense. Like, just cut the bullshit, man. You just want validation of socials and you like the attention you get off it. Your man is real, bruv. Like, we have this attachment to technology. It's sickening, bruv. Your man is right next to you. He's real. He's working to provide a life for you lot, bruv. And yet, you want to turn around and start talking about some... Yeah, but Jeremy, who, who liked my picture, he showed me more attention because it's a virtual like. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Bruv, it's fucking socials, fam. It's a, it's a free app. And I'm not going to lie here. Yeah. These men don't love the, these men don't love you enough to give you attention. They just like what you're posting enough to just double tap it. That's all it is, bro. It's nothing. You're nothing special, bro. Humble yourself. Like, just coming across bare narcissistic for what, bro? For the camera. And then the step your game up thing is like, I'm not going to lie, but a lot of women would kill to have a man that provides for them. And you have that. And you're fumbling that bag, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, yeah. I used to be the guy to compliment my ex at the time all the time until one day she turned around to me and she said, you need to knock that shit off. It's really annoying because you're doing it so much it's taking away the meaning of it. Having Being complimented every single day, of every, every hour, every day is going to irritate you eventually. If it doesn't, you're a fucking narcissist because you just... like Not even, narciss not, not even narcissistic, sorry. You're egotistical. Like your ego needs that much of a massage that you just gotta keep. You know, yeah. Let me just, let me just, let, let me just massage this. Let me just, let me, let me just get my ego massaged a little bit by by next man online, bro. Like, do, are you that desperate for it? Boys, man. Yeah. Okay. What I got from what you just said is you want to be tamed, right? What? I'm, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Do you understand? You leave that to someone else. But what I can tell you is that. All of this, you posting and entertaining other guys, it's not going to get you far. Who's Look, man, I'm going to tell you right now, men will not chase until, unless they're given a reason to. Like, any woman that's like, oh, this guy just chased me for no reason, that's complete horseshit. Why there are some men that are tapped enough to do that, a lot of the times it's because they're giving the guy something to feed off of and he's just like, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, let's see where this is going kind of thing. That's just all it is. Who's First of all, who's and what, what are you saying? If, what no, does that no, no, mean? No, 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 I'm just saying. You know, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm trying to be. Honest. That's not going to get me far in our yeah, situation. Because obviously, if you think about it, if you're now equivalent love on a love struck emoji on Instagram to real life love, you've already failed. What stupid love, babe? That's what. You... What stupid love are you giving me? First of all, because I'm not equating the love struck to love. I'm just saying that. For example, I, we could go out for dinner and I could wear a really nice dress. Paul would not say anything. He will take the picture at the end of the evening and I can post in that dress and people will love the dress. All of a sudden, he'll say, oh, the dress is nice, but why? Listen, you know what you're doing. If you're posting thirst trap pictures, you know exactly who your audience is, but let's cut the bullshit out. Let's stop with that. Because more time, you are going to... You can't be moving thirst trap in mandem and think, oh, oh, I wonder... I wonder how many females are going to like this. Like, I'm not going to look at... I'm not going to look at a guy posting his fucking meat print. Like, I'm not going to look at that. He knows who he's doing that for. He's doing that for the women. Swear down. The same way, no woman is going to think, oh, I wonder how many women are going to look at this when they post a shot of their ass talking about, yeah, I just cut my hair, bro. Like, let's be real. You know what you're doing. You know what audience you're trying to appeal to. Just cut the bullshit, bro. Cut the bullshit. They commenting, why are they doing this? Why couldn't you say it before? To me, it's like, he's probably upset because I get the attention. That why would you think that's going to get you far in a situation? Making a man jealous is not going to make him chase you more. It's going to just make him want to be like, you know what, bruv, this probably ain't even worth it. If she got bare man on her case, she don't need me. I'm just going to cut, bruv. L ladies, I'm going to tell you right now. Making a man jealous will not motivate him to want to be around you. He's going to do one of two things. 
You're either going to make him toxic and more controlling, or he's just going to cut. That's all it is, bro. There's no in-between. There is no, oh, yeah, he's going to look at that and fix up. No, he's not. Stop watching The Simpsons. Stop watching these fucking Disney Channel fucking romances where you see some guy making a girl jealous and he's just like, oh, my God. I got to step my game up in order to get this girl. Dun, dun, dun. It's not going to happen. This is real life, bro. People have real emotions. These aren't actors, fam. He's not giving me. Not that I'm equating it to love and I'm and I'm holding on to the love as if it's real. You kind of are, though. You're equating the attention that he's giving you to the attention that random people on social media would give you. Like, it's such disingenuous bullshit. It's unreal. All you're doing is just seeking validation from anyone or anything. And if you're not getting it off your man, you'll get it off a virtual man. And to be fair, I, I think that's just terrible in my opinion like that you you need to fix up and do better man i ain't gonna lie because you're just making yourself look bad at this point you're just talking yourself into a hole yeah i don't know just babe, babe you're taking the fucking piss <laughs> and you're laughing look no 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 now okay out of everything that i've just said in terms of you know the guy her entertaining it on the emoji stuff you're now telling her to ask me what she wants from me when she is the one that is ruining our brand. Our brand? How is what, how is my how has my Instagram got anything to do with you? Because your social media is tied into you as an individual, which means that if your partner is there, they're taking on you as an individual along with the attention that you'd get on socials. It's not a separate thing, bro. People need to understand that if you got a if you got fuckery on your social media and you're looking for a partner understand your partner's taking on that fuckery as well so that's why he's rattled because obviously you're seeking social media attention you've openly admitted that and if you're posting like half naked shit what's it like what what's his parents stumbling across that and he's like oh by the way your girl she looks like she's hoeing out then what you've just damaged that you've damaged the image that his parents have of him could be with a respect respectful woman in their eyes just because you want to keep up some half-naked selfies to entertain some man who probably don't even give a fuck about you anyway. Mm. No, tell me, because you met me on the Instagram. Did you build my platform? Mm. Yeah, straight away. Mm. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with him, and that's what he's too possessive over that account. Do you want it? Because it has nothing to do with you. Mm. If you Maybe you log me out and... I will say there are some people who move bare possessive with social media accounts. Um... I've experienced it. It's quite a, it's quite a toxic feeling just to know that they distrust you that much. But I'm not gonna lie to you. It really depends what you have on the account because more time, if you're posting half naked fuckery, or you're following a certain type of person, then I think that says a lot about you, in my opinion. But it's not something people really want to hear. But it's the honest truth. If you're posting half naked shit and you want to find a good quality man, it's probably not gonna happen for you. You can't have a high quality man and be low quality. Sign your name. If Paul had fundamentally no. no, no, put his face no, there. No, 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 no. I need to get no no, I need this one. It's not yours. It's not we don't have a brand. We're in a relationship. We don't have a brand. I'm Choma, you're Paul. When they And together you make a brand. Yes, you do have a brand in a relationship. So if you're damaging the brand by doing this kind of fuckery, you should be drawn up. You should be called out on it. Simple as. He was in my DMs, and now all of a sudden I should stop responding to them. He was in the comments, he was liking the pictures. Now he doesn't even follow me. Let me give you a tiny bit of coaching now. There's a difference between a brand and a face of a brand, okay? Now, the guy behind the camera, that's the brand. Everything in front of it is the product. So I'm the product, so no, you're no, no, selling no. me. No, 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 so no, no. You're selling you yourself. About? You're selling yourself. Yeah. You, he, you're not, he's not selling you. You're selling yourself. He does make a point, bro. Let's be real. The brand is the one capturing the image. You're just the byproduct of it for me. If it weren't you, it'd be a next thing. So, so your argument is falling flat on its face. All you want is the ability to just do what you want to an extent when you were single in a relationship, but have a comfort of a relationship. That's not how it works, bro. That kind of compromise is not going to be reached by everyone. Some men are not. Some men don't have the ego to accommodate that. That's what I'm saying. Now listen to this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a creator, off. right? I work with creatives, and what we do is we work with different products. 
Because you put, you take pictures, you're now part of a brand. Oh, no, Do they pay you no, 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 when no, no, they email me? Is your no, name in the wait, email? Let me finish. Wait, let me finish. Let I don't think so. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Of course, they got to pay the product. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They got to pay the product, didn't it? But let's be real. Any other girl could have filled that role. They just chose you specifically. That's all it is. <laughs> but listen, that's the video for today. That's episode two. Um, if you want to see more of these, by all means, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below of what you think of this situation. Is I think his name is Choma. Is it Choma that's in the wrong? Is it Paul that's in the wrong? What's going on? Should they even be together? Are they compatible? Let me know. But yeah, that's the video for today. Take care in a bit.